because it's the only the third time we've ever seen an interstellar object. And interstellar doesn't just mean Matthew McConaughey, it means something not from our solar system. It's interstellar, it's between suns. And so this thing came from like beyond our solar system and it's just <sighs> passing through. It's only the third time we've ever seen something like that. Is that so, why it's called three eye? Yeah, because Look it's three eye, not one eye or two eye, it's three <laughs> eye. That's exactly right. So it began like a whisper in the dark, a strange glow moving across the telescopes of Chile and Hawaii. At first, it looked like a typical comet, a frozen traveler caught in the sun's light. But within days, it broke every rule astronomers thought they understood. Its speed was unnatural. Its tail bent toward the sun instead of away. And its light pulsed like a heartbeat from the void. They named it 3I Atlas, the third known interstellar object to ever enter our solar system. But as the weeks went on, something became terrifyingly clear. It's getting brighter when it shouldn't. It's slowing down when physics says it can. not And now, even the James Webb Space Telescope has joined the investigation, revealing details so bizarre that some scientists have begun whispering what no one dares to say aloud. 3i Atlas might not be natural at all. Because if the data is right, we're not watching a comet. We're watching something else, something that acts alive. When NASA's Atlas telescope first picked up the faint streak on July 1, 2025, it seemed ordinary, just another icy fragment drifting through the darkness. But within days, that illusion shattered. The transiting exoplanet survey satellite TESS turned its wide field cameras toward the object, and what it saw stunned astronomers. 3i Atlas was glowing, five times brighter than predicted. At its distance from the sun, it should have been nearly invisible, a cold ember. Instead, it flared like a cosmic beacon. At first, scientists thought it was an error. But when multiple observatories confirmed it, one thing became undeniable. This wasn't sunlight alone. Something inside 3i Atlas was releasing energy, energy we couldn't explain. Hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, even exotic ices erupted from its frozen heart, but the power output still didn't add up. Imagine a dead ember reigniting in the middle of deep space. That's what Atlas had just done. And as it brightened, the deeper mystery began to unfold. By mid-July, the world's largest telescopes locked onto it. Hubble captured its first clear image, a small, spinning nucleus surrounded by an asymmetric glow. But what shocked scientists most wasn't the brightness, it was the direction of its tail. Instead of pointing away from the sun, it pointed toward it. That was impossible. Radiation pressure should push gas and dust away, like wind catching a sail. Yet 3i Atlas ignored every rule. Its anti-tail stretched forward, as if drawn by something invisible, something magnetic. Then came James Webb. With its infrared spectrograph, Webb peered deeper than any telescope ever could. What it found was chaos, layers of gases stacked like atmospheres, and regions reflecting light like metal. Some surfaces absorbed heat perfectly while others reflected it in strange, repeating patterns, like a machine spinning under light. And when they charted the timing of its eruptions, the pattern repeated every 147 seconds. Each outburst pulsed with machine-like precision. The data looked less like natural jets and more like code. Late August, Namibia. Two astronomers caught a new image of 3i Atlas, glowing bright emerald green. That color comes from diatomic carbon, see two molecules reacting to sunlight. But there was a problem. Atlas wasn't supposed to contain any carbon chains. Its earlier spectra showed almost none. And yet overnight, it transformed like something had awakened inside it. Even stranger, the color change came at the exact same time as a spike in cyanide emissions. Billions of tons of CN gas per second released into space. No natural comet has ever shown such rapid, 
synchronized chemical change. To many astronomers, it looked deliberate, a controlled reaction rather than chaos, as if 3i Atlas wanted to be seen. By September, polarization data came in, light scattered off Atlas in a way never recorded before. Normally, dust particles scatter sunlight in predictable ways, but this object bent light backward. Its polarization curve dropped into negative values twice as deep as any comet in history. It was bending light against the sun. Some speculated its dust grains were structured, aligned crystals, even micromachine materials. Others said the surface acted like a photonic mirror. One physicist put it simply, it behaves like something designed to control light, not reflect it. That's when Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb re-entered the discussion. The same man who suggested Taumuamua could be an interstellar probe. Now he claimed 3i Atlas might be another one, a craft disguised as a comet, using sublimation to steer itself. Mainstream science laughed. But the laughter faded when the data refused to behave. Every time new readings came in, 3i Atlas seemed to adapt changing brightness, color, even speed. It was reacting, as if aware of being watched. Then came the signal. Buried deep within Webb's infrared recordings was a rhythmic oscillation. A pulse every 147 seconds, steady, precise, unbroken. Too slow for vibration. Too regular for noise. Too deliberate to ignore. Cross-checks from NASA's Deep Space Network confirmed the same frequency. It wasn't an artifact, it was real. And then, the timing matched again. The signal intensified exactly when Webb locked onto the comet for continuous observation. Almost as if it knew. Astronomers called it the heartbeat. It never wavered. It never faded. A perfect pulse echoing through the dark every 147 seconds. Privately, some began to ask, what if we're not detecting a heartbeat, but a reply? Late September, tracking data from NASA's JPL and ESA's Gaia Observatory showed a sudden, subtle change in trajectory. 3i Atlas had shifted course by a fraction of a degree, but enough to alter its long-term path. No gravitational force could explain it. No solar wind. No outgassing strong enough to move something that massive. The object had steered itself. And here's the terrifying detail. The shift happened hours after its cyanide emissions peaked, meaning it may have used those gas eruptions to maneuver, like a thruster firing in deep space. What we were watching wasn't drifting. It was navigating. When analysts graphed the 147-second pulse, it wasn't random. The intervals matched the Fibonacci sequence, the same pattern that forms galaxies, seashells, hurricanes, and DNA. Even more bizarre, when the data was mapped in 3D, it formed a spiral helix, like a double strand of genetic code. A team of cryptographers in Switzerland ran advanced transforms on the signal. Hidden inside were harmonic layers, subfrequencies that aligned with prime numbers. It wasn't communication as we know it. It was structure, a standing wave that seemed to build itself. Some believe it wasn't sending data to us, it was shaping the space around us. A resonance pattern, not a message. If true, 3i Atlas wasn't broadcasting, it was calculating. In early October, Spherex and Gemini South observed something extraordinary. A thin ultraviolet veil surrounding the object, stretching for thousands of kilometers. It didn't behave like gas. It didn't move with solar wind. It shimmered in place, pulsing with the same 147-second rhythm. Webb's instruments detected bursts of radiation inside it like microscopic lenses focusing light. The veil wasn't just light, it was reacting almost like shielding. For the first time, Webb's sensors blurred. 
its image distorted, as if space itself were bending around the object. The veil hid something, and whatever it was, it didn't want to be seen. An MIT data team took the comet's light spectrum and ran it through frequency analysis. Hidden within the noise was a pattern, a map of stars. But not our stars. The positions matched ancient gamma-ray bursts, billions of years old. As if the object carried a memory of the universe as it once was. The coordinates weren't static, they updated in real time. Like a machine recalibrating itself against the cosmos. One scientist described it perfectly. It's not a comet, it's a consciousness made of starlight. Then everything changed. As 3i Atlas reached its perihelion, all observatories went dark. 43 seconds of total blackout. Every telescope, Hubble, Webb, Gemini all blinded. When systems came back online, every detector showed the same thing. A burst of high-frequency radiation encoded in binary. When decoded, the signal wasn't a message, it was a picture. A sphere surrounded by concentric rings. It was an image of itself. And then silence. No more pulse. No more glow. The object stabilized, dimmed, and disappeared. A week later, sensors over Antarctica picked up a narrowband microwave burst. The signal came from Earth's own magnetosphere, reflecting downward. The same harmonic signature as 3i Atlas's pulse. Our planet was now pulsing. The echo of 147 seconds had transferred to us. Satellites detected faint electromagnetic ripples matching the same rhythm. As if the comet's heartbeat had embedded itself into Earth's magnetic field. Maybe it left. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it finished what it came to do. The James Webb Space Telescope still scans the region where 3 i Atlas once glowed. It finds nothing, no debris, no trail, only a faint distortion in space. Like the afterimage of a flash you can't unsee. Some say it left our solar system. Others believe it's still here, invisible, waiting, watching. But maybe the truth is more terrifying. Maybe three, I Atlas didn't leave at all. Maybe it became part of us. Because as long as that faint, 147 second pulse echoes inside our magnetic field. Synchronized with every heartbeat on Earth. We can't escape the question that now haunts every scientist who's seen the data. Did we just witness an interstellar traveler pass by our world? Or did it finish its mission and switch us on? If you believe the universe still hides secrets we were never meant to find. Don't look away now. Subscribe, stay curious, because whatever 3i Atlas was, this isn't the end of its story. It's only the beginning.